Imagine you're driving down the road, cruising along when suddenly, the car jerks in the opposite direction, giving you whiplash. You recover, drive on. Then it happens again, and again. Now picture the same thing happening to the Earth's climate. Just like that unexpected jolt you experienced in the car, our planet is experiencing wild weather swings, or so-called climate whiplash. Climate whiplash means both droughts and floods are becoming more frequent and more intense. This happens because the atmosphere works like a sponge. It can both soak up and release water. The hotter it is, the more water it can soak up or unleash. By warming the atmosphere, climate change is essentially making the sponge bigger. These unpredictable weather patterns are incredibly hard to plan for or adapt to. Take the recent floods in Spain, where the traditionally arid region experienced nearly a year's worth of rain within just eight hours. Or the 2018 drought in Cape Town, where the city only narrowly avoided day zero, the day all water supplies were expected to run out. Climate whiplash is most pronounced in cities like Hangzhou in China, Jakarta in Indonesia, and Dallas in the US. But the trend can be seen all over the globe, and it affects spread far and wide, especially for the most vulnerable communities. When disasters strike, water and sanitation services get damaged and contaminate drinking water. That spreads diseases such as cholera, which means children can't go to school, people can't go to work, and families are pushed further into poverty. So what do we do? While we can prevent all climate hazards, we can adapt to their impacts. And one of the best ways to do that is with climate-resilient water and sanitation, meaning infrastructure that can withstand extreme weather events. Through our work, we're making sure communities hit by extreme weather can bounce back, stay healthy, and keep going strong.